Since the release of On One 2023.5, people have been talking about the Curves tool and Curves module. Lightroom also released the Curves tool in the masking feature, which is a big deal. This is something that has been available to us in On One for a very long time, but now we're going to take a look at the Curves module. So I'm going to add a filter and add Curves. Now, I'm not going to break down the basics of what the Curves is. If you are not fully aware of that, uh, then go check out my curves tutorial. What I'm going to do is actually show you how you can use this new feature or the new features inside of on one curves tool to really draw more attention to your photos. The first thing that I want to do here is modify this sky and make it look a little bit more moody and dramatic. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to pull down here in the center and I'm only looking at the sky and seeing what tones I can really pull out and and let's see what I can do with the blues here and maybe even pull, get a little bit of this, uh, this yellow into the sky and something that looks a little bit like that. Now I'm going to use the masking capabilities. Again, this has been built into on one, uh, for a very long time. And now we're just going to the sky mask AI. And I want to paint this into the sky, hit apply. And now on one's going to do its thing. It thought about it. Now you can see that it's not perfect here so we're gonna have to clean up a little bit which is okay and I'm gonna do a very loose job at cleaning this up turn off the perfect brush so that way I'm just getting all of this in one big sweep and we'll come down this line here but this is the capability that we have inside of on one and have had uh, that Lightroom just got and I will argue that the masks inside of on one uh, versus Lightroom are different um, you don't have to do as much cleanup with with a mask inside of Lightroom that you would have to do with on one. But you know, I, I think that that's okay. Uh, I would love to see the mask get a little bit more precise. It's early on in the AI masking game and many companies are struggling trying to figure that out. So I'm not overly concerned because I could just clean it up like so. And this takes me far less time than if I were to try and manually mask in the sky. So I'm just gonna leave this like so for now and hit the letter O. Now you can and see what I have here in my overall photo. If I turn this off and turn it back on, you can see I really brought some detail into the sky. Now, what I really want to do is mess around with the luminosity of the foreground. And this is where I think the curves tool is really cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is hit add filter, hit curves. So what I'm going to do is hit the gear icon and go to luminosity blend mode. Now this this is something that Lightroom doesn't have the capability of doing because it doesn't have blend options that you can use to really modify things. Now, I'm not overly concerned about working with the overall tone. What I may do is just put a slight S curve. That's just going to give me a base for adding in some contrast overall. Uh, and I'm only going to mask this into the foreground. So we'll do that here in a second. But when I come to these channels, you can see that there's some yellow information down here in the bottom like if you just look at the grass here greens naturally have some yellow information in it uh, as well as the dead grass here there's also some yellow information in the sign i have yellow information all over in here well if i were to pull this down you can see that i am only affecting the luminance values so what i can do is push this up here in the blue pull this down into the yellow and it's only affecting how bright those pixels would be. All right. Now this is different than using a color enhancer because the RGB channels are what makes up the overall colors of your image. So this is almost like modifying in a way uh, color calibration, not quite, but it's definitely modifying the intensity of the, uh, the red, green, and blue pixels. So think of this as a main shift way of getting that color calibration tool inside of on one and what I can do here is pull up on these green tones and I can see that there's a lot of information there so you can play around with this but what I'm doing is really looking at that histogram in the background and deciding or making some decisions about where I want to place these nodes now again I'm not going to get too complicated into this uh, but the histogram that's in the 
the background. It shows you where the luminance values are for the channel uh, or for the overall image. Now, as you make changes on the overall tone curve, this changes along with it. And that can be a little confusing. So I'm not going to fully explain that right now. I'm going to make a dedicated video about how that particular thing works. But what I wanted to do was just show how you can start to really use this tool to stylize your photos. Now, I mentioned that I was going to mask this in over on the foreground as opposed to the background. So we'll try using the foreground masking tool, which is right here, but it's not capturing anything. And background is capturing the sky. Maybe we can build it up and see flora, architecture, flora, natural ground, but it's not really getting that sign. So we'll hit cancel. And this isn't a problem. There's two ways that you could do this. You can copy this particular mask from the last one. So I'm just going to copy this really quickly using my Elgato keyboard shortcut deck, macro deck, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm just going to invert this. So now that effect is only applied to the foreground of the image. So if I hit the letter O, you can see anywhere that's white is where that effect is being painted in. But as you can see, I need to paint it in a little bit more here on the foreground and maybe even capture some more of this sign. But that's just cleanup work. The effect overall is done. So hopefully you found this somewhat helpful. And if you did, smash that like button. If you got questions about the curves tool in general, leave it in the comment section below. That'll help me with tailoring the video that goes a little bit more in depth with curves. I will link the last video that I made about curves in the description box below so you can check that out. If you want to pick up All One Photo Raw and save 20% when you do it, use the coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20 at checkout. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.